My name is Karen Linkish. I am a professor, consultant, and co-author of the Exploring Electronic Health Records textbook and EHR Navigator. Exploring Electronic Health Records is a program designed to teach students how to document in an electronic health record system through its EHR system, EHR Navigator. The program includes tutorials, assessments, and a sandbox version of EHR Navigator. Exploring Electronic Health Records has guided tutorials on key EHR concepts. The tutorials have audio. The tutorials are accessed via Paradigms Learning Management System Navigator Plus. When you click on a tutorial, it launches and guides students with instructions. The instructions are at the top of the tutorial player. Students follow along with the instructions and click the boxes outlined in red and enter the data that they have been asked to type. The skills learned in the tutorials are reinforced with graded assessments. The assessments are also accessed via Navigator Plus or they can also be embedded within your own learning management system. The assessments have all the instructions on the top of the page. With the items students are to type in appear in red. The students are given the important information to successfully complete the task but are not guided step by step like in the tutorial. Students fill out the assessments entering clinical data like in this example and then submit their work. After submission, students see immediate feedback that shows what they did right and what items they got wrong. The graded assessments are reported directly to the instructor's gradebook. The EHR Navigator Sandbox allows unlimited practice in the EHR system. Students have access to their own sandbox where they can add data and chart with more than 100 pre-populated patients. The EHR Navigator includes many nursing chart notes, such as the Nursing Admission Assessment, Advanced Directives, Delirium Screening, Fall Risk Assessments, Infection Control, Input and Output Flow Sheets, Nursing Daily Care Assessments, nursing notes, pain assessments, skin assessments, vital signs flow sheets, wound assessments, and nursing discharge assessment. I'm going to demonstrate a fall risk assessment. In the patient's visit, you click the Add Chart Note button, and the chart note opens in a separate dialog box. You may enter the date and time and then answer the questions yes or no. The score shows up on the right-hand side. Once you've answered the sixth question, the fall risk is calculated at the end and you can save and sign the fall risk assessment and it is added to the patient's chart. Another chart note included in the EHR navigator is the vital signs flow sheet. To chart the vital signs, the nurse would add the date time the vitals are taken and then add the data such as temperature, temperature source,
pulse, respirations, blood pressure, blood pressure source, and oxygen saturation level. You can add the same data for another time on the same day. This is important for students to learn so they can see how the patient's vital signs change over time. The vital signs can be signed and saved to the patient's chart and also edited and added to again later. The EHR Navigator provides access to a nursing landing page which has all of the important tasks easily accessible in one place, such as care plans, sticky notes, nursing summary, and links to the MAR and nursing chart notes. The care plan allows you to set care plan goals for a patient. I'm going to add a care plan for the patient Vance Donaldson. He has acute pain related to coronary artery blockages. His patient outcomes are to be free from pain and his intervention is to monitor for pain and monitor vital signs. The care plan can be signed and saved and is then saved to the care plan tab of the nursing landing page. On this nursing summary tab, you will see the care plan. Also on the nursing summary tab, you can add a sticky note for a provider to review. Click to add the note and then select what time it was added and what it is related to. For this example, I am asking Dr. Chaplin about the patient's pain and how it is not currently alleviated. The note saves to the nursing summary dashboard and can be read by Dr. Chaplin. When he reads it and addresses it, it can be deleted. The EHR Navigator includes an ordering system. Some of the orders that can be added are medication orders, diet orders, lab orders, occupational therapy, physical therapy, radiology, respiratory therapy, and speech therapy. Orders can be acknowledged, canceled, and completed. I'm going to demonstrate how to add an order. On the orders page, click add order and select the type. For diet order, you can choose the type of diet, what date it should be started and end, and the patient's food allergies. You can select the ordering physician and how the order was provided. In this particular case, it was a telephone order, so it must be read back and verified. Then you can acknowledge the order. When you acknowledge the order, it moves the order to the Active tab.
To add a medication order, you can select the drug from a list of the top 100 commonly prescribed medications and select the form of the drug, the dose, the route of administration, and frequency. You will select the ordering position, the type of order, and read back and verified. Then you can acknowledge the order. When acknowledging it, it moves to the active tab. The EHR Navigator provides experience using a medication administration record. EHR Navigator includes the top 100 commonly prescribed drugs. Medications can be administered, canceled, completed, and administering medication by a simulated patient bracelet and medication entry. The MAR is accessed on the nursing landing page. On the MAR tab, you can see scheduled PRN and IV medications. When you administer a medication, a dialog box opens. In the EHR navigator, we simulate barcode entry without a scanner. You can select that the scanner is not available and enter manually the bracelet barcode. After you do that, you will manually enter the medication barcode. Then you need to add the provider's name and password to authenticate the administration. The EHR Navigator includes inpatient, outpatient, and also a long-term care facility. The long-term care facility includes a long-term care admission assessment, a long-term care discharge assessment, and all 45 pages of the MDS form. The long-term care facility gives the nursing students experience working in a different kind of facility than they may be used to. The MDS is available through the nursing landing page. All pages of the MDS form are available, broken out by tabs. The different codes can be added to the boxes. You can navigate to the different tabs and continue to add the appropriate information to the form. Nursing students can add things such as restraints and alarms. The MDS can be saved and edited. The nurse can go in later and add some additional information regarding the patient's mood that day in the appropriate boxes and save it again. This has provided you with a brief overview of the EHR Navigator. 
Please contact your Paradigm Education Solution representative for more information or to see a live demonstration of the EHR Navigator.